Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another tutorial on Android app development. So guys in this video I will show you how to create your um, custom alert dialog and in your custom alert dialog how to use custom list view. Alright. List view with the images and text. So let's get started. So first of all what we need to do is we have a button here alright so when the user will click on the button uh, a custom alert dialog will be uh, shown displayed and in that custom alert dialog you will see a custom list view alright so let's get started let me first delete this alright so first of all you need to go to your strings.xml and first of all you have to specify the your string array and I name it as country name alright in there I have multiple items so I will just copy it C4 5 7 alright so first of all in my app I will display country name and their flag all right so first of all Pakistan United States Argentina Argentine Bangladesh Korea Sri Lanka and in last Brazil all right so as I have done it the I have specified the string array for uh, the country name so I need flags so here I have these seven flags so I will just copy all that and I will paste them into my drawable directory all right so I will just okay press okay and here you go they are now in our drawable folder so now what we need to do is we need to go to our main activity dot java and first of all let me create a layout for our custom alert dialog all right so how we will do it let's click on layout resource file in here row item alright so what we will display here we will display this the list view here so how we do it let me first of all create a button sorry guys I received a telephone call so I am back here so what we were doing is where uh, we were creating uh, let me create an list view here all right so now what we need to do is we need to specify a method sorry let me create the button first here so I will write I will drag the button here let me first make it relative layout and then show the button here list all countries list all countries and now I I will drag and drop so what I will do is uh, let me create a method here public void 
open dialog all right so here what we will do we will create the alert dialog from builder builder equals to new alert dialog builder and i will pass this all right so now we need a layout inflator inflator equals to layout inflator and i will use this dot get system service context dot layout inflated service all right so now i will uh, use view uh, row equals to inflator inflator dot inflate or dot layout dot row item null all right and we will use the list view list view row dot find view by id r dot id dot list view all right as you know this is the list view so now what we need to do is we need to set the layout set the view set view and i will pass the row here and so now i will just write let dialog dialog equals to builder dot create and dialog dot show all right and i will click on click method and i will select open dialog all right so now i need to create the, the custom list view so for that we have to create another layout so i will name it at custom list view all right so now what we will do here mm, we will write relative uh, sorry we will use a, an image view so first of all we will need a linear layout and in here we will need relative layout So we will need an image view. First of all, let me drag the image view here. So I will zero dp. Linear layout. I will drag the last step here. Zero DP, and I will write Android weight, and I will put that to one. One. Right, and I will write Android source viable Pakistan. All right. Sorry. So we will just write zero point five zero point three. and we need to use the padding 15 dp 
and also Android padding 15 dp all right so we have our layout Pakistan so now what we need to do is, is first of all we need to create a java class name as single row how that in that single row we have a string name and integer image all right so we will just go to generate and we will generate a constructor all right so now we need to create a custom adapter and we will extend it with base adapter and we need to implement the methods get view get item get item id get count all right so first of all we need a constructor and in that we need a context of our this class so we will first of all initialize and this dot c equals to c and so we need an array list of type single row so we will initialize it here array list equals to new array list so we need a re resource resources res equals to c dot get resources so we need string names equals to res dot get string array r dot array dot country name all right this is all the country name so we need an integer array to store our images so we need to specify each of pakistan drawable dot united states r dot able dot argentina r dot drawable dot bangladesh Drawable dot Korea R dot drawable dot Sri Lanka and finally R dot drawable dot Brazil. All right. So now we need a for loop for i is equal to zero, i less than names dot length i plus plus, and in here we need to add array this dot add and we will say new single row and in here we need to provide names i and images i all right so in our uh, get count method where is get count so we will just return array this dot size in our get item id we just need to return i and in get item we will say array list dot get i all right so now we have to go to our get view method and in here we need to provide a layout Inflator, inflator equals to layout inflator. Key dot get system service context dot layout inflator service. We need a view inflator dot inflate. What we need to inflate is r dot layout dot. Sorry, custom list view we need to pass the view group and finally we need to pass false 
Alright, so now we need to initialize our text view. So we will need draw dot find view by id or dot id dot text view is am I right? Yes, text view. And we need we need an image view. Draw dot find view by id r dot id dot image view so we will just write single row we will create an object temporary object equals to hmm, what we will do array list dot get i all right so it will uh, get the current uh, index of our array list so what we will do here we will write t1 dot set text what we will text uh, temp obj dot name all right similarly i1 dot set image resource and in here we will provide temp obj dot image and what we will return here is a row all right so this is the coding it's very simple it's very very simple I hope you have understood what I have done so now here what we will do is uh, what we can do here we have a the list view so what we will do is we will just write l1 dot set adapter and we will say new custom adapter and I will provide this all right so now our uh, it's active um, application is finished so now let me open mirror go so that I show you my output let me connect my Android phone now I have connected my Android phone I hope now it, uh, it will work so let's see let me open the app so when I click on this button as you guys can see I have this custom uh, alert dialog with custom list view so if you like my video please subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye